Hello everyone, welcome back. This is your English teacher, Joanna Zaydeen. And today we're gonna to get an overall idea of our main subject, my perspectives, English language arts for the upcoming year. And in general, in the PowerPoint presentation, I'm gonna outline the content of English language arts. Starting off with introduction, content, aims, key and related concepts, and lastly, I'm gonna end up with assessment criteria. And now moving on to our weekly calendar. So we're gonna have five classes per week that are aligned in a BC with varied sources and content. And now in our main subject, which is English language arts, we're gonna answer a lot of questions that are what skills do we need to enforce? So we have literature, language, vocabulary, and the most important part, which is writing. They're gonna actually be enforced through student-centered classes, listening activities, readings, projects, outsourcing material, peer observations, and lastly, feedback through various written and spoken practices. So to start off, My Perspectives is a student-centered English language arts program that embraces global university approaches, leading students themselves to constantly question and inquire through diverse representations of literature, authors, characters, and even cultures. And now let's talk about the most important part that we have in our unit, which is the essential question that provides many opportunities for students to use their voice as they share their prior and lived experiences. And it allows them to, to make choices in their learning by asking a lot of critical questions in multiple stages throughout the learning process. Now in our units, we're gonna be talking about key concepts, related concepts, and even global concepts. We're gonna link them together in themes and contexts. Now let's move on to the first part, which is communication. That highlights the exchange and transfer of signals, ideas, and symbols. It even involves conveying information and sharing meaning together. Yet the other key concept is connection that highlights our links, bonds, and human relationships in relation to our time and culture. Further, the essential questions that are reflected repeatedly in each part of the unit encourage students to talk with each other and learn from one another, more significantly bringing knowledge from their different backgrounds and cultures to enrich critical literacy in the classroom. And the key concept that is mainly highlighted here is perspective, which is actually the position from which we observe situations as it can be associated to individuals or groups. And now to the learning process. So the learning task, whether it be individual or collaborative, they encourage discussions that allow students to draw upon conclusions to their varied and rich backgrounds, to gain eventually the confidence that allows them to be agents of change, doers of action. Eventually, our book perspectives honor students' choice and voice as they perform research in response to a prompt or task that they choose and complete project-based tasks in a format of their choice. In perspective, intercultural understanding is highlighted when we let our students ask great questions of the world, leading them into becoming world changers, future inquirers, and leaders. And now moving on to the assessment criteria. Now, in regard to objectives, the objectives of the main subject state specific target. Number one is analyzing, two, organizing, three, producing text, and lastly, using language. So in analyzing, we highlight identifying ideas and text analysis, which actually depicts the ability to examine a text or several texts in terms of structure, content, language, etc. In organization, we highlight building up ideas in a logical case of a coherent manner. In other words, organization promotes a clear message with purpose. Following up with producing text. Now in producing text, we highlight exploring creativity and selecting relevant details and examples when it comes especially to imagination and sensitivity. However, in using language, we highlight and grant clear communication when exploring ideas. It highlights the use of suitable nonverbal forms of communication. And that's it for our class today. See you.